Hi everyone, my name is Emily. Welcome to my channel, The Casual Puzzler. I am so excited to start this journey with you. I love to do puzzles. I've been doing them since I was a little kid. I've just gotten back into them since the start of quarantine COVID, just like so many people. And I thought it'd be fun to share my hobby with others. I love watching puzzle videos and there's not too many out there. So hopefully if you are a puzzle lover like I am, you will enjoy this content. Make sure to subscribe. I doubt I'll ever get to Karen puzzle status because she is like the OG of puzzle content here on YouTube and I'm obsessed, but I thought I would just add to the mix if you are just wanting some recommendations for puzzles, where to start, where do you go to look for them. I really wanted to do reviews on certain brands and try them out. I do have a tripod that does overhead shots. Don't know how to do it yet, but we will try. I thought this would be a good first video to do. It is a giant massive puzzle haul. This is not puzzles that I got all at once. This is over the course of a few months and I thought it'd be a good video to start off my channel with because it kind of gives you an idea of the style of the puzzles that I like to do, the brands that I love, places where I get my puzzles. I will put close-up images so you guys can see the puzzle box, at least the graphic, in case you're curious about these puzzles and I'll try to link them or at least list them down below in case you're curious. So let's start off with these two up here. I guess we'll do from the top down. We are starting off with some that I got from the Dollar Tree, which I, this is the first time I've ever done so. Me and my husband, we do this, it's called the Adventure Challenge book. We got it a couple years ago as a Valentine's gift to me from Dave. And we hadn't been able to do too much because of COVID and a lot of things are like out and about and in public. But this past month, we did go to the Dollar Tree as one of the dates that's in there. And we each ended up getting a puzzle. So the first one here, it's this little cute Disney puzzle. It is called uh, Mickey Mouse and it is from the brand Cardinal. I haven't used them before, but it looks really fun. It has a really interesting texture to it. So I feel like it actually will be pretty tricky. I'm just not sure about the quality of this puzzle. The box itself feels pretty cheap. I mean, it's just a dollar, but I feel like I could easily get a dollar's worth of use out of it and enjoyment out of it. And I think it would still be fun to do. And I think it's just awesome to have like an affordable option. And they had so many at my Dollar Tree. So they had a ton of Disney ones. Dave ended up picking this one out for me. And the one that I picked out for him was this one here. It's from the brand Puzzle Bug. It's just a 500 piece puzzle. It's called fun in the air and it's just all these nice sweet hot air balloons and this one I got because we live in Temecula California which is wine country and we went to the balloon and wine festival the first year that we moved into this house and it was one of our favorite moments living here but then of course with COVID everything's been postponed until next year already and I just thought it'd be a really fun memory with this puzzle anyways it th th that was part of the date was like you had to find things that remind you of that person. And this reminds me of our first weekend here up in our house. So it's just a really vibrant color. I really think this is like, both of them are pretty good for a buck, right? I'm really curious about trying them. Maybe I'll do a video about it to see how they go. So the next one I have here is one that was on my wish list for quite some time and they're always sold out. This is from the brand Inner Peace. Look at this box. Isn't it so pretty? Like it just looks like it could easily be home decor. And I actually really just like how sturdy this box is. And then here's the picture there. And they use all 100% recycled paper and everything inside, there's no plastic bags or anything. They use like a reusable bag that zippers up that if you can store your pieces in and then you can use the box for home decor. I don't know, I just really like their concept. Their graphics are also beautiful. They feature some local artists. They are based in LA and I just really like what they're doing and they are expensive. <laughs> So I got this one from the Design Milk Shop and they have their older collection where I think on Inner Pieces website they only have their new collection. So I was able to get this one, which is the one that I really wanted from their original collection on this other website. So I'll link that down below. The puzzle itself is called Bijou Carmen House and that's that. The next one I have is this one here from Doddle. It's Imaginary Dragons and it's just a really pretty, it reminds me of like Norway or Sweden, like one of those places where there's like big massive castles, but there's also tons of dragons on it. I got this because I was doing a uh, Instagram challenge where you had to have like certain categories and do a puzzle from each category. One of them I needed to have a castle on it. So that's how I ended up with this puzzle. I'm not a huge fan of Doddle puzzles because they have so much puzzle dust, like tablespoons worth of puzzle dust. It almost makes it 
affect your experience a little bit because the puzzle pieces feel dusty and it just feels, I don't know. I know some people love this brand of puzzles. I'm just not a huge fan and I'd rather spend money on some other brands that I really enjoy. This one, it's beautiful and I like the finished product. I just think the experience with all the... I don't know, the grittiness that's happening. It's just not my favorite thing, but I'm excited to do it though. I mean, I'm not gonna turn down a puzzle, right? I don't really care that much, but I just want to mention that if puzzle dust is a big thing for you. The next ones we have are from Disney. We live in Southern California and we did go to downtown Disney one day for like a date thing. This one here I got in downtown Disney. It has a decorative border, so it doesn't have like a straight edge which is really interesting and it also says it has unique puzzle pieces so I don't know if that's just like interesting shapes or if it's ones you know some puzzles will have like a mickey head or like a bicycle and it's like that's the shape of the puzzle piece so I'm not sure what it's saying about unique puzzle pieces but it does make me excited and I also just love it's a Disney puzzle it's the map of Disney and I'm missing them so much I can't wait for them to open up back in April but I'm excited for this one. And then the other Disney puzzle I got is one of their limited edition ones, and this is called the Haunted Mansion. This one looks so hard because it's mostly black with a little bit of like glow in the dark pieces, and I am still excited about it. I love the Haunted Mansion ride, and it is a map of the inside of the ride, and I just think it's really cute. It's also glow in the dark, but I am kind of nervous about it. It's a thousand pieces and I just feel like there's gonna be a lot of black and a lot of confusion. The next one I have is from a brand I've never tried before. It's called the brand Puzzledly and they have their own website and all of their puzzles are so vibrant and saturated and I honestly had a hard time picking out which one I wanted. They also had a bunch of different deals so if you knew you wanted a few then they had like little um, clusters that you can buy together but I just got the one because I wanted to limit how many I was buying like I thought this wasn't going to be anyways um but I ended up getting this one here it is called pretty fly for a cacti it's only 500 pieces I like smaller puzzles sometimes you know like a 500 piece puzzle is perfect for just an afternoon I can't leave puzzles out overnight I haven't figured out how to get my cats to not smush them off the table even with like something on top like they just fly off the table and in the morning it's just on the floor so having a smaller puzzle I know I can do in one sitting is something I really like and it also is just enjoyable and so I love this one it's just really fun bright vibrant colors maybe a little tricky just because there's only a few colors in this puzzle but I think it'll be fun and I like the box this is another one I really like for home decor purposes the next two I got as gifts. The first one was from my husband, Dave, and this is the brand Ibu. Ibu is one of my favorite brands. They just have really sturdy pieces. I love the saturation of color. They also have like different unique shapes sometimes, and I just really like their style. I have a couple of their circle ones, which I really enjoy. This one was on my wish list for quite some time. It's called the Tree of Life, and it's just a really pretty thousand piece puzzle. It's, again, really saturated, sturdy pieces, and Ibu, again, is one of my favorite brands. My only critique for them is that they're a little too glossy for my liking. I have a light right above where I do my puzzle, so sometimes the glare can be a little annoying, but I just love how good quality the pieces are, and so far, every one thing that I've gotten from that brand, I've really enjoyed. This one I also got as a gift, and to be honest, it's not quite my style as you've seen with all the other puzzles. They're more illustrated. I like those like vibrant colors, very distinct lines. Like to me, I really like that type of picture. This one is a photograph, which is just not what you typically go for, but I will try it out. It's a thousand pieces. It's from the brand Mind Bogglers, and I can't quite pronounce the name of it because it's some Czech Republic cottage but it's a pretty image I won't say anything about the image it's just for puzzle purposes I just feel like I'm just gonna be either one bored because of the amount of snow that's on here but also I feel like I'll be frustrated because of all the snow that is on here so we will give it a shot you know I'll, I'll try it out but I just know that's not something I would have picked out myself and then finally I have three puzzles that I got from my favorite puzzle shop, it's called Odyssey Fine Puzzles. If you haven't heard of them, which I'm sure you have if you're watching this video, then you are missing out because it's just a lovely small 
family-owned business based in Georgia. With each shipment, I've gotten a handwritten note from the owner and he emails like once a month to all the subscribers and like tells you what's new and what's happening and issues with shipments that are happening. And it's just a really, it's really nice to support small companies, you know, especially in this day and age where so many small businesses are going under. It's just nice to know that this small puzzle shop is making it because of everyone who has just rediscovered their hobby. I got these from him and I am excited. This is, these two here from a new brand I haven't tried before. This is from one of my favorites. So this one here is from the brand Pomegranate. This is one of their art piece collection puzzles. So they take famous paintings and pieces of art and they put it into puzzle form which I just think is a great way to discover art if you're maybe wanting a little bit more culture I don't know um, but I just really love the different images I've gotten from this collection I've gotten three or four of them before and I just love their quality their pieces are super thick and when you put them in they just have like that snap to it and I love that they have matte finishes because again I had that light over my puzzling area and so having a matte situation is just really nice and it just feels really good I don't know I just really like these pieces and puzzles and the images and if you haven't tried a pomegranate puzzle I'll check them out anyways this is just a small five printer piece one and it's called Sea Anemones by Ernest Hackles and so I'm guessing this is some famous painting and I just really like it um so we'll do that one. And then the final two are from a brand new brand for me. I don't know if they're new in general, but I know it's new for the shop too, because there was like a whole little section about it. Um, this is from the brand, this is from the brand Eurographs. And I will say with every single one of theirs, their images are so saturated. Like I am so excited to try this puzzle brand out. The box seems so sturdy. And this is a thousand pieces. It's called Beauty. And as you can see, it's just this really beautiful woman and all these nice, nice like tribal colors and I'm so excited to do that one. And on the back it has a whole bunch of um, images of their other puzzles and I'm wanting pretty much every single one. So I'm excited for this brand and then this one may be the one I'm most excited about. I love doing puzzles that are different variations of gradient puzzles or rainbow puzzles. I love this one because it's a rainbow cupcake puzzle so as you can see it's a rainbow and it's a gradient puzzle but it's in the form of baked goods which I think is so fun and again the box seems really sturdy and I'm really excited to try out this brand but I'm excited for this one that is it for my first video I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for tuning in I plan to have new videos every week so make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, also if you want to see these puzzles in action please check out my Instagram because that's where I post my images of the ones that I've finished or while they're in progress so make sure to check that out. Okay that's it for me. Have a good one. Bye.